Hi guys, my name is Tom Antos and today I want to talk about a cool uh, camera support uh, you know, for, for big and heavy camera rigs like, like this one for example uh, this one you know, with the red camera, the, the follow focus, the, the cage and, and the battery is around 30 pounds so it's definitely not something you want to haul around whole, whole day uh, and now this support uh, will also work you know, with smaller cameras like DSLRs uh, or you know, if you have a DSLR for example with a cage and mud packs and all that stuff attached to it now the, the number one problem that I find when I'm using you know, basically shoulder rigs these days is that uh, because the cameras are getting smaller and smaller, which is a good thing, uh, the problem is that you still need the camera up front because that's where your lens you know, attaches. So really the cameras are always, you know, and the, the shoulder rigs are always very front heavy. And you know, some people basically end up putting either extra weights on the back, which I don't like because it's just, you know, you're carrying extra weight, but it, it does help you sort of balance the camera on your shoulder a bit more. more. Um, you know, you can use, like for example, this camera uses the, the V-mount battery, so putting it here on, on the shoulder helps a little bit, but still majority of the weight is going to be in the front. And that's, you know, basically where I find, you know, the biggest problem. So when you're hand holding it, doesn't matter what kind of grips you have, whether you're holding it by the, by the mud packs or you have these long, you know, hand grips all the way down here, you're still, all that weight is literally, instead of being on your shoulder, like it used to be back in the day when the cameras were much longer, the, the, the majority of the weight goes to your hands. And, you know, if you're shooting, you know, for a whole day, let's say if you're doing some documentary work or, or you know, live TV kind of stuff, um, you know, or, or just, you know, handheld film work, it is not something that, uh, that you know, you really want to be doing, or if you are doing it, you'll, you'll you know, you'll, uh, as you'll probably see from your own experience, like I have, uh, your hands are really going to start getting really tired, and, and you just, you know, that results in kind of shaky footage, because your, your, your arms are straining. So what this camera support does is it literally takes the weight off your shoulder, you could say. Uh, it sort of acts as a, as a third arm. Uh, that, that you have sort of attached to you all the time and it carries the weight of the camera. Now it's not a stabilizer, uh, but you know, but it, it will in a way help you sort of stabilize the shots a little bit. Uh, but it's not a stabilizer like, like a fly cam or something like that, uh, but it's just gonna sort of help you make those handheld shots a little bit smoother. They'll still look like handheld shots, but they're gonna be a bit smoother. But the, the, the biggest thing I would say is, like I said, it just takes the weight off your shoulders, uh, I mean, of your arms, uh, makes it easier uh, you know for you to basically to work in this kind of configuration for a whole day and especially i find for example big problems also with this these front heavy rigs is that when i you know basically want to operate the, the follow focus myself the second i take off you know my arm basically of one of the grips you know it's like i have to try to support it here with my arm or something and it's just really straining here Ah, see, even right now it's hurting my wrist here, you know, my right arm, because suddenly I'm holding the whole weight of the camera, which is one arm, and not only that, but I'm holding it, you know, all the way out here instead of underneath the camera, like where the center of gravity is. So, so sometimes I even just end up grabbing the camera by the rails and then doing this, you know, when I'm when I'm pulling the focus, which is, you know, which is not ideal. You want to be able to just, you know, easily go from from holding it, you know, steadily with both arms to this, you know, and then go back without really straining. So. Uh, let me show you guys how this whole you know, kit looks. So this is uh, so the package that I got. It's uh, it's called the the Atlas Camera Support. Uh, I'm gonna you know post all the links in the description of this video or on my website if you guys are interested in you know, where you can get it. And it comes in a, in a like, sort of a cool little bag like this, and it has uh, you know all the parts that you need in it. Now I have the, here two versions for the sort of the middle kind of weight, you know, mid-sized cameras to all the way to these heavy cameras. But like I said, if you check out their website, they have, you know, all kinds of like basically different kits for different uh, camera weights. Uh, anyways, the first thing, the, uh, probably the most important thing is this vest. So this is sort of what you're going to put on, uh, on to, uh, you know, to take the, the weight of your, of your arms. Uh, then it has these little straps here for the camera. And then there's all these different, you know, car I, I think it's their carbon fiber uh, rods. So these are basically different rods for different uh, camera weights. And it also comes with these PVC tubes, which is uh, what you're going to put in your vest uh, to, to, to hold the rods in place. And also it comes with this little sort of uh, uh, shackle that connects the, 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 the camera basically to, you, to the rods. Put this here. There's more different PVC pipes. Uh, again, these are for different camera weights. Now, it, it also comes with instructions, which is really nice because uh, I know a lot of camera gear these days does not come with instructions. 
Uh, now, I, I'm you know, actually the type of guy that you know usually doesn't don't I basically don't bother reading the instructions, uh, you know, simply because because uh, I'm uh, I guess I'm lazy or, or I just want to jump right into it and start playing with the gear. But in this case, I would advise that you read the instructions. They're very short, but the the reason is because uh, there's little, just little things that you want to watch out for so that you don't break the, the this whole kit, which is something that I almost did. I didn't read the instructions. I basically just took one of these. Uh, fiberglass rods and I just put it right into the, the vest and I actually afterwards found out that, uh, that you don't want to do that because you can rip the bottom here of the, of the vest so that's why you want to first put in the appropriate PVC pipe in, into the vest uh, so the, the one I'm going to choose right now is for the for the heaviest cameras which I believe is this one just sort of thread it to this first thing here and then you put it down all the way until it stops once you have it there, you can put the vest on. Uh, so, you know, putting on this, uh, this uh, vest here is, is pretty straightforward. Just loop it in through your head here. Then you want to take these belts here on the bottom. And you buckle here. And then you want to make sure that you tighten this. So that this whole vest sort of, you know, lays, you know, and, and, and holds on nicely to your, your hips. It's sort of like like wearing you know a heavy you know sort of a hiking backpack. Uh, you know you want to you basically you want to have most of the weight uh, you know rest on your hips as opposed to your, your shoulders. And then uh, you just take these smaller here buckles. And then once you have this, then again you just tighten it here and these two. And that's it. And so once you have the vest on, you want to you know grab your fiberglass rods and there's like I said different you know size rods with different tensions basically for different camera weights. I'm taking the biggest one here because I'm using it with that heavy 30 pound rig and it comes in two pieces so you know this way you can disassemble and fit it in that small backpack. So it just goes like this and uh, you just sort of feed it in through that PVC pipe that you have on the back. Once you have that in there uh, you can you know attach the camera to it. Now to attach this to your camera you will need some kind of a, either like a top handle like I have here uh, or if you're using let's say just a DSLR you, you can buy a little hot shoe mount adapter so that you, you can basically just uh, you know like some kind of an attachment point on the top of your camera but if you have a, a sort of a handle top carrying handle like this one it's, it's best and just loop it in nice and tight through here and that's it you have it sticking on it on the top then uh, you're gonna take uh, this thing uh, this is sort of your, your strap for attaching it from the camera to you to, uh, to the fiberglass rod now what I like about this thing is that it, it actually it's it has like an extra D sort of a loop through here and then it also uh, it allows you to just overall adjust the length either through through th this little bar that you can put pull or by let's say double looping it like this and you can easily this way change the, the length of it which makes it better so that you know you can really customize you know how, how high you want the camera to hang uh, so first I'm going to take this rod here pull it down clip this and then once you have that clipped then you can just attach the camera straight to it and then you lift the camera now uh, it says in the instructions that you never want to let the, the weight of the camera just sort of hang uh, on the system uh, but again, I didn't read the instructions, so I actually did that and it's fine. Now, I'm not going to say I'm going to recommend that you guys do it because I guess there, you know, it could always slip or I don't know. I, I don't think this rod will ever break, but it, you know, in case something happens, you know, me or, or the manufacturers, I guess, of this support gear are not going to be responsible for your camera gear. But like I said, for me, I mean, I, you know, even like right now, I could be literally just holding this with, with just two fingers. And, and I don't feel the weight of this of this rig at all. I don't even feel it on my shoulders. You know, it just sort of kind of, like, like I said, goes down to your, 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 your waist and your hips uh, area. So it really makes it a lot more comfortable, you know, carrying out this, this huge camera setup. And not only that, but like I was saying before, if I'm in, in let's say, in the middle of the shot and I'm, you know, I'm holding on my, my, my handles here and, you know, let's say I'm getting a shot, I like how it looks, but I want to adjust the focus. Well, now I can easily just take my hand off of here and adjust the focus without you know shaking the camera while I'm basically taking my hand off the of the, the handle. I can easily just go adjust my focus, put my hand back on, on onto the grip, and and operate this way. And not only that, but also just overall, I find that the the handheld shots with this rig are a lot smoother. 
And I think the reason why they're you know a lot smoother is uh, a you know your hands are not straining as much, so they're not shaking, uh, you know, causing those extra vibrations. But also you have in a way another a extra point of contact for the whole camera gear. So not only is it resting on your shoulder, you're having, holding it with your arms, but on top of that, you know, majority of the weight and and you know the, basically the the, rig, the top of the rig is attached now to the, the you know the rest of your your body. So it really, really makes it easy to, to just walk around with it. If you, even if you need to do something, let's say, I don't know, flip out, let's say, you know, open the mat packs, maybe change something with your lens, you can do this easily uh, without, you know, really requiring assistance from anybody else. And, uh, and like I said, you know, once I, once I started using this rig, uh, I got so used to it that I really don't think I'm ever going to be using, especially these sort of heavier cameras or, or even, even a DSLR sort of a setup that has, like I said, the, the cage and mat packs that, you know, just adds up to the whole weight. I don't think I'm ever going to use, basically, you know, do any sort of sh over the shoulder kind of shots, uh, you know, handheld shots, I mean, uh, without, you know, the support. It just really makes it, makes your life a lot easier. Uh, also, what's really cool about this camera support is that you can use it with, like, the three-axis camera, you know, gimbals or stabilizers. And, you know, especially once you start putting on, you know, like the bigger you know, three-axis gimbals with the bigger camera, follow focus, mud packs, all that stuff, it can actually get, you know, pretty, pretty hard, to, you know, to hold for a long period of time. So with this thing, uh, it's, it's, it's not really a problem. Uh, so if you guys are interested in, uh, you know, finding out where you can get this, uh, this, this rig, uh, you know, all the different configurations, versions of it. Uh, and again, check out my website at tomatosfilms.com uh, or check out the links in the, in the description of this video. And as always, uh, you can also find more filmmaking tutorials and camera gear reviews, as well as my films, uh, again, on my, uh, on my website. So uh, thank you guys, and uh, I'll see you next time.